Hi there, Mahar Haddad here. So in this video, I would like to speak about a very nice uh, feature that is available on Microtech, which is uh, for queuing, it's called the uh, PCQ, per connection queue. So what this uh, PCQ does and uh, what is the main uh, function of the PCQ, that is something I'm going to explain it to you in this video. So let's get started directly and speak about the PCQ, how it works and what is the function of PCQ, and then we will start doing the lab. So what is PCQ? Imagine that you have, for example, in your network, which is, uh, for example, the network of your company or at home, you have uh, people who are using the internet all the time and they're doing a lot of traffic, causing that others, they do not uh, have possibility to get connected to the internet uh, normally. So to do the normal job because someone is taking all the banners in front of them. So we can use the PCQ and uh, in this way, what you can do, so for example, if you have a bandwidth of 5, uh, 12 kilobit per second, half a megabit. Okay, this is small bandwidth nowadays, but yeah, let's just uh, do the example so we can understand what the PCQ does. So what you can do, you can create only one uh, queue, and then you say that I'm going to use PCQ, and you put the rate here zero. So what does it mean, PCQ rate zero? That means that in case one user is connected to my network, and he's doing the banner, so he's putting bandwidth, then he will get 512 kilobit per second totally, right? So say that we have second user connected, so we have two users, then in this case, the 512 would be divided into the number of users, so each of one would get 256 kilobit per second. Of course, both of them should be making bandwidth, so if one of sitting idle and is not doing any bandwidth, then still is considered like one user connected, so that means that the uh, number of uh, PCs or machines that are connected is not the uh, one which the Microtech look on. The Microtech look on uh, what traffic is this user is doing. So if you say you have two users, one is doing all traffic a lot and one is sitting idle, then this one you would take the 512. But in case both of them are doing traffic, then it will be divided between two. And this happens automatically. If we have seven users and all of the users are doing traffic, then the uh, five square will be divided into the seven users. So each one will get 73 kilobit per second. And this way, you don't have one user who is abusing your internet, using all the traffic, and the rest are just sitting, not able to do their work. So this is really nice for using the PCQ. And uh, when you say PCQ uh, rate zero, that's something we can see it over here. If we go to the uh, queue, and we go to the uh, queue type, you have this one, this is for, we have one PCQ for download and one PCQ for upload. Those are the default one, of course, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna copy them and uh, to be able to have uh, the uh, um, ones that uh, I wanna use. But uh, say that you go to the PCQ download and you see this is the rate. When you say rate zero, that means it will um, be divided based on the number of users who are doing the traffic. Of course, you have the same on the upload. All right, so let's go again to the uh, explanation. Now, when you have, uh, for example, you make the PCQ rate, instead of being zero, you make it 128 kilobit per second, or here it, it, they put it on bytes. So uh, 128,000 bytes per second, so which is 128 kilobit per second. So say that you have a total bandwidth of 512 kilobit per second. If you have uh, one user connected, he will get only 128 kilobit per second, what you have put on the PCQ rate. If you have two, then each one will get 128 kilobit per second. If you have four, that is two, that is four, then each one will get 128. Because 128 times four, that's exactly 512, which we have it over here. Now, if we have more than four, then again, the bandwidth will be divided based on the number of users. So we go back as we have PCQ zero. So in this case, we have seven, then each one will get 73 kilobit per second. So this is all about the PCQ, and we're gonna do the lab now how we can configure PCQ on the Microtech router, and we see how this is gonna work. So let's go now to the lab and start doing it. So before we start doing the lab, let me just show you what is my scenario. I do have here one Microtech router. Actually, I'm using CHR images on the GNS3. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put those two interfaces which are connected to those devices on a bridge, I put an IP on the bridge. That's it, which is 192.168.88.1. .1. 
I will go to this uh, computer. Actually, I'm also connecting a device, actually, which is a mic, the router, also here. It's not a computer. Then I'm going to go to this interface here and put an IP and uh, also an IP here from the same range. So then we have reachability. After I do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the mic tech router here and do the PC queue, which is one queue that I have to create it. Just one queue. I make PC queue and then uh, we have to say here the rate is zero. And of course, I have to make the queue. I give it a bandwidth. Let's give it a bandwidth same as we have seen 512 kilobit per second. And then I'm going to make bandwidth test from here to here. And then if it's one router doing bandwidth test, we get 512. Then I will, while it is open, I will do another bandwidth test from this router to here. And now we have two users doing the uh, traffic. Then we will see that each one will get 256 kilobit per second. So this is uh, the lab that we are going to do. And then of course, I'm going to change the rate to see if by changing the rate, what's going to happen. So let's get started and start doing the lab. So I will go first to the router one. And as we said, we have to create a bridge interface. And I'm going to put inside of it Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3. OK, that is done. And now I'll go to the router 2. And router 2, actually, on the picture, it shows on GNS3, if we look at what I have here, Router 2 is connected on Ethernet 2, Router 3 on Ethernet 3. So here is 3 and here is 2. Okay, so we go to Router 2 and I will put an IP on Ethernet 2, 192.168.88.2 slash 24. And I put it on Ethernet 2. Did we put IP on the bridge here? Let's check on Router 1. So we made the bridge, but I don't think we put an IP, did we? No. So we have to put an IP 192.168.88.1 on the bridge interface. OK, because I need to do the bandwidth test. That's why I need an IP. All right, so this is router 1 done, router 2 done, and now router 3. I also put an IP, and this time on the interface Ethernet 3. OK, very good. Now let's try to ping from router 3 to the Two routers because they are all bridged together to see if uh, it's able to reach them. So let's do a ping. I will do a ping first to router one. It is working. Stop. I will do a ping to router two. It is working. Stop. Okay, very good. So this is now done. Now I have to go to router one and do the configuration of TPCQ. So first, what I need to do, I have to go to Q. As I said, we do have here two queue types. So this is what is queue type. On my click, there are different types of queuing. Uh, like you can see here, SFQ, RED, PCQ, and FIFO. So I'm going to use those ones. But to not use the default one, what I can do, I just go and copy that one. And I would call it, uh, for example, PCQ. This is the download, PCQ download. Yeah. So then we have it here, and I will do the same for the upload. I will copy it, PCQ, upload. Very good. So now we do have those two queues. Now, if we look inside the queues, we have the rate is zero. So remember, rate zero, that means the bandwidth will be divided based on number of users who are pulling traffic. So on the download and on the upload is the same. Very good. Now, what I need to do, I have to go to the simple queue. I will create a queue on simple queue. Of course, you can do PCQ on the queue tree, but we are going to work now on the simple queue. So let's call it queue LAN. So just did this for my LAN, which is targeting the network 192.168.88.0 slash 24. And I'm going to give it a maximum bandwidth of 512 kilobit per second, as we have seen on the upload and 512 kilobit per second on the download. Very good. Now let's apply. And now what we can do, we can go to advanced. Over here, you have the queue type. So you have upload and download. So I will choose the queue type for upload, which is the PCQ upload that I created. And for the download, I will choose this one. For the download. Yeah, and then I will say apply. So believe it or not, by just one, uh, queue that you have created, a simple queue, 
Now the bandwidth will be divided based on number of users that are pulling traffic. So let's test. I will go to router 2. Let's put it side by side. Router 2 and router 3. All right. I will start by router 2. Let's maybe move it a little bit, router 2, so router 3 can have a place. Yeah. So I'll go for router 2 first, and I will go to tools, and I will go to bandwidth test. So this is the IP of the router 1, username and password, and I want to test for both directions. So router 2 is the only router now putting traffic. So as you can see directly, here we go, the bandwidth has started, and look, this guy, router 2 at this moment, is taking the 512 kilobit per second completely. So he's putting the whole bandwidth, and you can see the chart here. While he is open, I will go to router 3, and I will do also the bandwidth test. So we go to tools, bandwidth test, to router 1, correct, start. Look, what happened exactly, that once this has started taking the bandwidth, look at this one. It went down, look here on the graph, it was 512, and then boop, it went down to half of the bandwidth. You can see this is happening directly, so you don't have to do anything. This happens automatically. And PCQ is Microtik proprietary. So Microtik, they created this type of queuing. It's for Microtik, and you don't see it in other brands. So this is really very nice what we see over here. All right, let's stop both of them, and let's go now to the router one. And on router one, I will go to the queue type, and over here, I'm going to change the, P, the rate, so the PCQ rate, I'm going to put it 128 on the download, and I'm going to make it the same on the upload, 128. Very good. So, oh, we made a big mistake. It should be kilobit per second, and not bit per second. So here also, 128 kilobit per second. All right, very good. So now, what does it mean? If there is one user connected, he will get 128. Two users each one will get 128. Up to four users, each one will get 128. From number five and onward, it is going to be divided based on the number of users who are putting bandwidth. Let's test. We go again to router two, router three. We start with router two to see how much bandwidth he will be getting. Look, he's getting 128. Okay, you can see that is what he's getting. Okay, we make router three see how much you will get also bandwidth. Look, he's getting also 128. So both of them, each one is getting 128. So in this way, if one user is trying to pull all the bandwidth, he can't because we just defined for him how much bandwidth he can get. So that is all what I wanted to show you in this video. It's just one simple queue you created. You use the uh, queue type, which is pitch queue, one for upload, one for download. You play with the rate and it works perfectly without any problem. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put like on my video, subscribe and click on the bell so you are notified by my new videos when I post them on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for the time you spent watching my video and see you in the upcoming one.